take cystic fibrosis. Now this is an inherited condition that affects around 11,000 people in the UK. It causes a, a thick, sticky mucus to build up in the lungs and the digestive system. Recently, the Cystic Fibrosis Trust, the University of Cambridge, Microsoft and the Royal Papworth Hospital have teamed up to create Project Breathe. It's a remote monitoring platform that uses artificial intelligence. Due to the pandemic, the project has sped up. Originally, it had 97 patients, but by the end of this year, it's expected to have 500. <laughs> We went to visit Sammy Reed to hear about her experience with the project. Sammy was two years old when she was diagnosed with CF and was one of Project Breathe's earliest participants. Before I got involved with uh, Project Breathe, I didn't know what artificial intelligence was. I had no idea. So I use these pieces of equipment to um, upload all my data automatically to my phone. They then are um, number crunched through the AI system and then they obviously deal with everything that I have inputted over the last 365 days. Trends and that are obviously then um, analysed and then they are then forwarded on to the relevant person. The equipment is used to monitor key indicators such as lung function and oxygen saturation which are automatically compiled and tracked via an app. The AI is used to recognise patterns and predicts any decline in health early. It then alerts an individual when they need to go for a checkup. Those living with CF usually have to attend a clinic every six weeks, even if they're well. That results in a huge number of wasted days for people, disrupting their lives and putting them at risk of infection. The artificial intelligence within this monitors my data input and it can see trends so it can see for example um, when I'm likely to pick up a, um, infection looking forward um, when for example they can see 11 days in advance within the trends that you know you, you you are likely to be going downhill so they can pick that up quicker which means I can treat myself quicker which means that I'm not then obviously um, admitted as an inpatient. Attending a clinic every six weeks also means that relatively little data is collected, both on the individual and across all of those living with CF. But now, eight or nine pieces of data can be captured at home every day of the year. We are finding artificial intelligence really interesting. I'm finding it that how can something so simple as uploading some data mean that it can save me time, it can save the NHS time, it can save my consultant time, but it's everything is just moving forward. And I just think that it's such a wonderful thing that we can, you know, obviously input something that takes five minutes that is gonna then, you know, increase everyone's chances of living longer. <laughs> 